Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. My name is Jason. We'll start off with a couple of photos of the reef. I don't know if you remember those yellow polyps from way back when. I believe those are the last four remaining. So starting off on the right hand side of the tank uh, from a different angle. I normally for some reason don't shoot this side of the tank. Um, so I thought I would switch it up and I have been doing a lot of research on dissolved oxygen and wanted to kind of put that on the table to see um, if anyone has that particular uh, probe and, and metering device either through American Marine or through uh, Apex Neptune um, and I'm curious to see the graphs of how the dissolved oxygen or DO um, graphs with ORP and with uh, pH and also the pH in the calcium reactor and temperature and how all that kind of graphs together. So I'm in that optimization phase. Um, I'll be adding a algae reactor. Um, it's been ordered. I'm just waiting for it to be delivered. And I will also be adding a Clara C. And so I've been focusing a lot on maintaining uh, nitrates and phosphate levels. Um, I repurposed a bucket of the Seachem matrix in the first chamber of the sump. And so I'm looking to see how that impacts um, the area of low flow, low oxygen and see if that eats away at the phosphates before I implement the algae reactor. And so there'll be a time where I'll have this extra bucket of Seachem matrix along with the refugium and the algae reactor and then eventually I will transition fully into uh, the algae reactor. And so that was one thing that I'm focused on. Uh, also uh, as I mentioned, I am, let's see, I've got a water change coming up and a change of carbon mid-month coming up. And what else? Um, a water change from the sump to um, clean out the sump, pull everything out, clean it. Um, it's been a while since I've cleaned the skimmer. To be honest with you, maintenance. One of the nice things about the Tunzi equipment is you could probably clean it once a year. Um, I usually clean mine at least twice a year, semi-annual, sometimes quarterly. Um, but I definitely, definitely don't clean the equipment on a monthly basis. Um, maybe three months, three to four months. So um, when I add the Clara C, uh, my main concern is just the detritus in the sump. I think that's been a, a major benefit towards keeping everything else um, stable in line with how often I do water changes, which is about 45 days. Um, I don't do water changes monthly unless I see something major that needs to be corrected. But that's where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers and drop a comment, like or dislike below. Let me know what you think or if you know anyone who's actually tracking, uh, data logging the um, dissolved oxygen numbers. Thanks.